The year is 1993, in a shaded forest in Hong Kong. A TV commercial was set to be filmed here, and with a few hours left of daylight, there should not be any problems. For this particular commercial, the director wanted six children. And there wasn't really much more specific than that. They just needed some children between, you know, six and nine, four of which were boys, two of which were girls. So they were told to, you know, just wear these old fashioned clothes, do the choo-choo train game where you kind of hold the person in front of your shoulders and just move along as a train would. Now the director of this commercial saw absolutely nothing wrong with the, the way it went. You know, he got his footage and then he went back, he was editing, putting it together when he noticed something downright terrifying. So like I said, there were six children hired for this. Of those six, there was only two girls. You can see both girls clear as day, number two and number four in the train. Now, when he looked back at this, the kid who was supposed to be last, the chubby kid that we see now, there was another person behind him. Appears to be a girl, a third girl. But like I mentioned, there were only two girls hired. And from the back, from another angle, you can clearly see that chubby kid is last. He is the sixth and final kid of the train. So let's break this down in slow motion. We can clearly see that one boy, two girl, three is a boy, four is a girl. Now the final two, five and six, are both boys. And like I said, that boy with the white trousers is the final boy. There's nobody else behind him. When the director saw this, he had no words for this. There was nobody else in the forest. There was no parents for a seventh kid. You know, they hired six children for this. And this commercial actually ended up being banned entirely in Hong Kong. And the child with the hat that was supposed to be last, that was being touched, actually ended up tragically passing away a year later. So even just talking about this, I mean, it gives me goosebumps. This is downright terrifying. And the fact that it's been banned and hasn't been talked about in 28 years just makes you really wonder, who is that girl? Is she a spirit trapped in this forest forever? Let me know what you guys think.